Welcome to the first look at A World Betrayed, the latest DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms. You join me playing Sun Tzu as we are about to lay siege to Luyang, a town promised to me by Yuan Shu. Another great victory for Sun Tzu. Unfortunately, one he can't revel in for long. Our Lord Yuan Shu has big plans to extend his territories to the southeast. And as his humble vassal, we are to see his plans executed with swift precision. One of Sun Tzu's main mechanics is called Reckless Luck. As you can see, it gives him some strong buffs plus 40% campaign movement, minus 15% upkeep, and more military supply. If you like playing fast and aggressive, this is definitely the character for you. But his luck has a downside. It will decrease by 10 every turn. But what happens when his luck reaches zero, I hear you ask? Well, his luck truly will run out and he dies. To avoid this fate, Sun Tzu needs to perform certain Legacy of Wu missions, but we'll touch on that later. For now, Yuan Shu has ordered us to take the main city in the Xindu province, and we must do as our Lord says. Unfortunate things happen to those who disobey his commands. I've swept south, taking the fish port and the lumber yard. The plus 40% movement range has really helped me. The White Tiger is in proximity of the town, but I don't think it will matter. We can kill two birds with one stone. Take the city, kill the bandit. Let's jump into the battle. The Sun family has a proud history of powerful warriors, both male and female. The Handmade Guard are armed women who will give their lives to protect the Sun family. They have a passive buff called Guard that gives plus 30% damage resistance to nearby generals. If you like getting your general into the thick of the fight, these women will help keep him alive. Taking the town has completed one of my Legacy of Wu missions, Secure the Mountains. These are smaller quests that give you a variety of different permanent buffs. For this quest, I'll gain plus three Public Order faction-wide and plus two Reckless Luck. These quests can range from capturing an entire commandery, defeating a specific person, or win so many jewels in battle. They give you short and long-term goals to go for during your conquest of China. You can quickly identify target by the tiger symbol by the name of a general or settlement. The more of these quests you can complete, the longer you can hold off or entirely stop your luck from running out. We're jumping forward a little. My conquest of Southeast China has been going well. In doing so, I've completed another two Legacy of Wu missions, but trouble grows. Yuan Shu has grown more paranoid as the years pass. He's declared himself as emperor and sent assassins after Lu Chong. During your game, you will encounter different dilemmas, whether you will stay loyal to Yuan Shu or not. I think now is the time we separate from his grasp and rebel against him. Completing missions has given me the opportunity to recruit some powerful characters, which have become loyal to me and joined my court. As you can see, I have a strong court made up of some famous and formidable names. 
Unique to Sun Tzu is the ability to share out expertise to all of his generals or any in his court. Collected expertise is something you gain over time, and you can see it here. I'm going to level up Zhao Yu. A little extra ranged damage will come in handy. The higher the combined rank of all the characters in your court and their levels, the faster the expertise will generate. It looks like Yuan Shu has grown tired of my little rebellion and has come to squash it himself. I'm feeling pretty lucky about my odds, so bring on the battle. Let's look at Sun Tzu's later game unit, the Tiger Guard. This highly disciplined, heavy spear infantry are great frontline troops. Highly skilled in hand and shield combat and good against cavalry. They also have the guard passive buff, meaning whether your lord is on horseback with the handmade guard charging into the enemy or fighting on foot at the front line, he will always have a little help from his troops. A hard-won victory. Now Yuan Shu has been slain, it's time to carve out our own path and see if we can start turning our luck around. Always being on a timer adds a sense of urgency to Sun Tzu's campaign. His luck constantly ticking down means you can't stay still for long. Add to that the choice to either stay loyal or rebel against you and Shu will completely change the course of your campaign. If you haven't already, check out the announcement trailer on our YouTube channel and subscribe for all the up-to-date news.